So I'm going to go ahead and log into iLabs right now. And I'm going to navigate to our Certified Ethical Hacker course, version 8. Within the CEH course, I'm actually going to be going into our sniffing module, which is module 8. So once I click on launch, it's going to build our virtual environment, which will take just a few moments. And you'll see an active machine here in, in just a moment. Just a few things to touch on before we start um, navigating, going over the user interface, is that iLabs doesn't require any add-ons or plugins for your machine. You can access it anywhere with a wireless connection 24 7, uh, 365 days a year. There's no need to schedule lab time, and there's also no uh, need for instructor maintenance within iLabs. So you'll see as I, I just clicked on launch, um, it brings up an actual active machine. So I'm going to go over the user interface, and then we're, we're going to actually get right into our attack. So on the top left-hand side, you're going to see the module um, up here. There's also our machine controls which will give us six different active live machines. Um, again, these aren't simulations. These are live machines that I can access at any time. We have some display controls. We have the option to switch to full screen, which we will in just a moment. Some machine commands, pasting password information, powering machines on and off. And then it tells us our time in the top right-hand corner here. Uh, every lab, you have eight hours to complete. In this particular lab, there's about an hour and a half worth, worth of um, exercises. So within each task, there's a group of exercises. Our machines tab, you can actually see all the active instances of live machines. And then there's some options available for browser optimization, as well as a lab manual that you can print out as a, and use as a resource. Now, on this bottom toolbar, you're going to see there's some helpful hints available. There's, an, there's ideas, there's screenshots, and there's actual videos of exercises being performed so the students can have further insight on completing tasks. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to switch the full screen, and we're going to perform an, a, a live attack within iLabs. So right now I'm in our, our Windows 2012 server machine, and we're going to create a real-life scenario on how easy it is for an attacker to access an unsecured network, uh, sniff that network for um, an IP address, monitor traffic within that IP address, um, and obtain uh, password information. So this can be done without even hacking into an actual machine, leaving uh, the user who's logged into this unsecured network vulnerable. Um, to, um, to have information, important information, obtained by the hacker so they can use it maliciously. So I'm going to go ahead and get started, and I'm going to play the scenario as the attacker, and there's also going to be a, a scenario as um, a user that's going to be logged into an unsecured network at a hotel accessing, uh, let's say, a work email. So as the attacker, I'm going to access my machine, and I'm going to download an open source tool within the toolkit that iLabs provides. And this tool is called Cane Enable. Cane Enable is an open source tool that anyone uh, can download off of Google. Again, it's built into iLabs for this specific lab. So you'll really see how fast iLabs is. I just downloaded Cane Enable. And you'll see it's on my desktop now. So I'm going to access this, this program. So again, as the attacker, I'm going to sniff this network for IP addresses. Keep in mind, this is our controlled network within iLab, not my actual wireless network I'm logged on to right now. So I'm, I've already started to sniff the network. This is what an actual attacker would see and then can enable. And I'm going to click on our sniffer tab. Now, in just a moment, you're going to see an IP address appear. And we're and at that time, we're actually going to do um, another sniff. And we're going to actually obtain MAC addresses and, and more information. Because an attacker, I'm going to try to 
get access to all of the machines on this network, not just yours. But, you know, I, I have as many options as I can. So you see our first IP address just came up. Now I'm going to actually perform another attack and I'm going to try to access as many different IP addresses as I can. So going back to our scenario, your IP address is coming up on here. You're a user logging on to an unsecured network at a hotel, uh, checking your work email. And I'm going to zero in on your computer and obtain your username and password information. So after I'm done running our scan, which one momentarily, I'm going to actually zero in on your machine. And your machine's going to show it's idle right now. It'll show it's poisoning in a minute. At that time, when it does show poisoning, I'll be able to monitor everything that your machine is accessing. So password information, user information, site you visited, the list goes on. I'll have full viewing capabilities to all that information just because of the fact that you're logged onto an unsecured network. Okay, great. So it shows poisoning now. It's static. So. We're going to play the scenario of you now logging onto your work email on an unsecured network. And what have I done? I've just entered the wrong password. So say I have multiple passwords and I'm unsure which password it was to access my work email or I've just entered the wrong password, not thinking correctly. So let's see what information an attacker can actually view just from accessing your machine within Team Enable. So we see passwords that come up. So I've actually tracked the IP address, the timestamp, offering the date and the time and the hour and your username and password. Now, the password you entered was sugar. Uh, let's keep in mind, this was not the correct password. You had mistakenly accessed your, your work email with a different password that, that you've entered. Now, a hacker or an attacker would use all information that they obtained for various purposes. So let's keep that in mind. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually log back on and play the user and enter the correct password information this time. So I've entered the correct password information you have in, in logging onto this uh, unsecured hotel network. And again, you'll see the timestamp, the, the server's client ID, your, your username and password that's just come up. So in just a few moments, I've shown you how easily an attacker can sniff a network and obtain important password information to access a certain um, accounts. In this case, we were referencing to your work email. This could be done to access your bank account, your social media accounts, any other login credential that's out there you, an attack would have access to just by downloading this open source tool and sniffing the network and focusing in on your IP address. So this is just one of the exercises we've set up within iLabs. Within this module specifically, there's about an hour and a half worth of activities for the student. So hopefully this gives you an idea of the, the power of iLabs, how fast I was able to navigate, how fast the uh, programs were able to download, and it is a, a very convenient program to incorporate inside classrooms and outside of classrooms.